Good morning, everyone. God showed me that he has hidden the wealth of the Jamaican people. The wealth is here. It's just that many don't see it, but many do. He's also hidden the Jamaican people because they are a people after God's own heart. And when I say they love God, they really do love God. God says that he will bring us back to the lands in which we were separated from. So Jamaica is an island. Jamaica stands for Yah makes ya. It's an island where a lot of our ancestors who were taken into slavery, this island was used. So one thing about Jamaicans is that they have a lot of family. They're around family. They're around family. There's a connection with their sisters, with their brothers, with their aunties, their grandmas, or 98 plus years old. They really protect their family. They really protect their people. Sometimes they fight amongst each other, but I haven't seen it. If it's a disagreement, it's some type of disagreement about money or being faithful or loyal to your word or someone trying to get over because they're hungry or they really need it. And it may not be the best at their heart, but even though they go through a lot of worries, a lot of mental stress and turmoils, it's because they get mentally turmoiled, um, mentally um, assassinated by Satan. And we know Satan's a father of lies. But God showed me that he hid the wealth of Jamaica. This is the lands that the Chinese want. They want to come bring their people here and let their people live in a land that's so blessed, fortunate. They say it's at level three, but it's been at level three since like 21 or 22. But that's only because they're right next door to their cousins, the Haitians, who are all our tribes, part of the 12 tribes of Judah. So, Yah says, my sheep know my voice. And when I talk to y'all's people, when you have me talk to them, they stop, they listen. They're very honorable, respectable, from the children to the seniors to the adults. There is a fear and a love for God here that I have never seen anywhere, ever. The only thing about it is the, the youth got caught up with Babylon. So everyone wants to save the youth now, but the youth, they're listening. It's just who's going to teach them. No one's teaching them. So they have each other to teach. And usually when they have each other to teach, it's from some type of social media that they saw. But truth be told, when was the last time Jamaica had a leader since uh, Marcus Garvey or Bob Marley or even Nanny? But here comes the dog. There's dogs all over here, but I'm glad they don't come at you try to bite you. They just stand there and bark at their house in their own space, see? He's sitting there barking, but he ain't coming. Anyways, I um, hope y'all chime in as God leads me to show you more about his people, the ones who are after his own heart. You can't even find anyone here unless you know where the greenhouse is by the third tree behind the, the back bridge where the water is near Auntie's auto shop. <laughs> that's how they found, that's how you find their address here or someone's address. You really gotta know the lands. I love the energy of the people here. I already cooked Jamaican. Um, God has me going out street preaching, but I haven't felt led to record any of it unless God says it's okay. Other than that, his people, they're listening and they love him. And I met a lot of people along this road, a lot, maybe like three guys, one girl, no, two girls. 
Um, I mean, like adult size girls. And then four little boys, like between the ages of eight and 12. Maybe one teenager. That's about, I don't know, maybe 18. But God is doing great works here. And if you're paying attention, you can hear his voice. The Jamaican people, all they have is God's voice. See, in America, we were spoiled because many people have the government. If you're homeless, you got the government, you got a shelter, you got food stamps if you're hungry. But these people, they don't have nothing. They just have each other and they have God. So when one car is stuck on the side of the road, everybody gets out and help and push that brother to the side. They call each other sister, call each other brother. Some of them look at you kind of crazy, especially when it comes to the girls, because they've been told weird things about you. Who knows what's in their head? But I give them a different experience. Even though many won't speak to me, I still re-speak again and make sure that they know that I'm speaking to them, whether they roll their eyes at me or not. But it's been maybe a couple of those, not many. It's been more people talking and communicating than anything. But, yeah. I met a 98-year-old mama. And uh, she calls me her daughter. She calls my husband her son. And she calls my, my daughter. No, she calls me her daughter. She calls my husband her son. And she calls my daughter her granddaughter. <laughs> and, uh from the gate and she dances every day and she says the lord makes new great every day and then she throws her hands up in her hair both hands and she starts starts sassying with her hips to the side and i love her i love seeing her every time i see her she puts a smile on my face so she's always praying over us too she's like lord bless them keep them keep them safe bring them back safely keep them in your arms she loves praying they say that she always has her bible on the bed and she never closes it now that's my kind of mother my kind of leader my kind of teacher my kind of guide <laughs> god is awesome isn't he well in the meantime i'll be posting some videos so y'all can take a look at some things um a lot of people don't like to be filmed so a lot of times I won't record and a lot of times it depends on the area if I'm out preaching or if I have a chance